Just to remind you all about how the summer exhibition works, it is an open submission exhibition. Each year, um, anyone can, is invited to submit work, and, and indeed they do in significant numbers. We had 12,000 entries this year. And as always, Tess and the, the rest of the committee um, looked at each individual work. They're all brought into the Academy. They look at every painting, every print. We have Chris Orr here as well, who's um, an, another academician looking out to the print rooms. And they look at every single work. Um, sculptures is done slightly differently by photograph, but we, 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 we do bring um, a lot of sculpture in as well to the exhibition. So it's, it's quite a huge task. And as, as um, Charles said, Tess started very early in the planning for this exhibition, and it really shows. Um, it feels very celebratory. I think, last, like last year, where the, for the first time we entered into this main gallery, we're doing it again this year. It feels incredibly confident. We've just walked through the courtyard and, and, and seen um, Chris Wilkins's wonderful piece of, of, of work out there, the design that, that people can interact with. A, it, it's a bench as well as a, um, a wonderful um, creative design that, that actually has lent itself to the poster design, which you might notice. On and it, it is, it is a, a labour of love, because looking at 12,000 works is remarkably daunting, I have to say, that you get to a point where you go home on the tube and you look at the smallest knob on the door and you think, oh, well, shall we take this in or not? Um, <laughs> and uh, so your life is really, visually, your life has changed for quite a, quite a while. In terms of what we were trying to achieve, um, I would say we were all pretty well agreed, but one of the things that maybe is different this year is to try and encourage uh, the younger generation to apply. That, that, that on the whole, in the past, I think a lot of people have felt the Royal Academy is just for established artists. Uh, and some people, myself included, believe this shouldn't be the case, that we would like to make it somewhere we after all we have we have an extraordinary new generation coming up now of artists uh, you know this this country's put a lot of money over the last uh, 30 years into educating artists and now i believe that the royal academy can say we can acknowledge this um, and here you know here we have the result and that it can become a, I hope a kind of mecca for young artists to be able to show at least once a year um, where their work is going so there, there are two strands at this point. The one is um, to show younger artists together with the established ones. The second thing is um, we have concentrated in Gary 3 on smaller works. Now my own view, and I know it's shared by some, is that just as much energy and concentration goes into making a small work as goes into making a big one. And the world is building a lot of enormous museums and um, and galleries and often they fill it up with massive works uh, which are not necessarily any better than small ones. And I think everybody knows that if you look at a Leonardo da Vinci or a Vermeer they're often very tiny and nobody would say they were, they were any the worse for that. So we have managed to get in something like, I don't know, 450 works into, into that room. Um, every single one of which I would stand by. I think that there, there are some really marvelous paintings there. You have to get up close, you have to concentrate a bit, but it is really, it is really worthwhile. Um, so there's just one other thing I would like to say, and that I'm personally really proud of. We've managed to get uh, five works from Afghanistan by young Afghani artists, uh, really because we felt that it should, be, it should be acknowledged to those people who are managing to continue to make art uh, in a, in a war-torn country uh, that at least from the West we should be able to say, we know you're there, we know you're working, uh, it is a most marvelous thing, it is a celebration of life in the midst of all that horror. So I feel very proud that, that we've managed to do that with great difficulty and an awful lot of work on Edith's part and, and, and her team.